dark road to unbreakable discipline. You think you know discipline. You think you understand what it takes to build an unshakable, unstoppable mindset that drives you through every obstacle, every rejection, every failure. Think again. Discipline isn't just a mindset. It's a reprogramming of your very being. And to get there, you must go deeper than willpower, deeper than motivation, deeper than surface-level efforts. You must understand the dark reality of what true discipline requires. Discipline isn't just a tool. It's the foundation of dominance. You want control over your life, your career, your body. You want to be the one who rises above the masses, who crushes everything in their path then you need to learn how to build discipline from the ground up. Because discipline is not something you're born with. It's something you create, something you forge in the fires of discomfort and struggle. Let me break it to you. Discipline is war. It's a battle fought every single day, not just against external challenges, but against your own mind. Your mind is your greatest enemy, and if you don't learn how to conquer it, it will conquer you. Rewire your brain, or it will break you. Your brain isn't wired for greatness. It's wired for comfort. It's wired for survival. That's why, left unchecked, it sabotages you. It seeks out distractions, instant gratification, and the easy way out. But the path to success is anything but easy. And if you don't force your brain to comply with your will, it will drag you down into mediocrity. Here's the truth you need to understand. Your brain can be rewired. Neuroplasticity is the science that proves your brain is malleable. It can be shaped and molded by the actions you take every day. Every choice, every habit, every action either strengthens or weakens your discipline. If you want to become someone who is relentlessly disciplined, who doesn't flinch in the face of discomfort, who pushes through pain and failure without hesitation, then you need to start rewiring your brain today. The prefrontal cortex is your command center. It's the part of your brain responsible for self-control, decision-making, and staying focused on long-term goals. But it's constantly being overrun by the emotional, primitive parts of your brain that seek comfort, distraction, and instant pleasure. Every time you indulge in laziness, every time you procrastinate, Every time you let yourself off the hook, you're letting those primitive instincts win. You're weakening the command center that's meant to guide you to success. But here's the dark truth. You can fight back. You can strengthen your prefrontal cortex, make it more resilient, more powerful. Every time you push through a difficult task, every time you resist temptation, Every time you force yourself to stay focused when you want to quit, you're strengthening that muscle. Discipline is a muscle, and it grows through resistance. It grows through struggle. It grows through war, dominate, through habit formation. You've heard it before, habits are the key to success. But do you really understand the power of habits? Do you really know what's happening in your brain when you form a habit? The basal ganglia, the part of your brain responsible for automatic behaviors, is the reason why habits make discipline easier. Once a behavior becomes a habit, it's no longer a conscious choice. It's automatic. It doesn't require effort, willpower, or mental energy. That's why the most disciplined people aren't relying on motivation to stay on track. They've built habits that do the work for them. But here's where most people fail. They give up before the habit forms. They think discipline is about forcing themselves to grind every day, pushing through pain and discomfort with sheer willpower. But that's not sustainable. You're not supposed to grind forever. You're supposed to build habits that make the grind automatic, that turn discipline into a lifestyle rather than a constant battle. You need to understand this. Your brain is a machine, and it craves efficiency. If you build the right habits, you can automate discipline. 
The more you repeat a behavior, the stronger the neural pathways in your basal ganglia become. And once those pathways are strong enough, the behavior becomes effortless. You no longer have to think about it, debate it, or fight with yourself about whether to do it. You just do it. This is where true discipline is born. The dopamine trap, mastering your reward system. Here's where the real struggle comes in. Dopamine, the neurotransmitter that drives your motivation and desire. Most people misunderstand dopamine. They think it's about feeling good, about pleasure. But dopamine isn't about pleasure. It's about the pursuit of rewards. It's the driving force that pushes you to chase your goals. But here's the catch. Your brain is wired to chase immediate rewards, not long-term success. You've been living in a dopamine trap your whole life. Social media, junk food, video games, instant gratification. They're all designed to give you quick hits of dopamine to make you feel good now, even though they're killing your discipline. Every time you indulge in these short-term pleasures, you're reinforcing a dangerous cycle. You're teaching your brain to crave instant gratification instead of long-term rewards. And this is why you struggle with discipline. The secret to mastering discipline. You must master dopamine. You must rewire your brain to chase long-term rewards instead of quick hits of pleasure. How do you do that? You delay gratification. You break down your long-term goals into smaller steps. And every time you complete one of those steps, you reward yourself with a small dopamine hit. This is how you create a sustainable cycle of discipline, where your brain becomes addicted to the process of achieving, not just the end result. But here's the dark reality. You will have to suffer first. You will have to endure the discomfort of delaying gratification, of pushing through the urge to indulge in distractions. But if you can hold out, if you can resist the immediate reward and stay focused on the bigger picture, you'll train your brain to crave discipline, to chase the success that lies at the end of the struggle. Stress is the silent assassin of discipline. Stress is a killer, not just of your mood or your health, but of your discipline. When stress takes over, it hijacks your brain making it impossible to stay focused on long-term goals. The amygdala, the emotional center of your brain, lights up under stress, overriding the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for self-control. That's why, when you're stressed, you make poor decisions, give in to distractions, and lose sight of your goals. But here's the thing, stress can be managed. You don't have to let it destroy your discipline. If you learn how to control stress, you can maintain the clarity and focus needed to stay on track. Techniques like deep breathing, mindfulness, and physical exercise are powerful tools to calm your mind and keep the amygdala in check. Every time you manage stress effectively, you're keeping the prefrontal cortex in control, allowing you to make better decisions, stay focused, and keep pushing forward. And here's the kicker. You can train yourself to handle stress. By regularly exposing yourself to controlled stress, whether through cold showers, intense exercise, or difficult tasks, you strengthen your brain's ability to stay calm under pressure. This is how you build mental resilience, how you turn stress into something you can use, rather than something that destroys you. Delayed gratification, the foundation of power. The difference between the weak and the strong, between those who succeed and those who fail, is simple. The ability to delay gratification. Most people are slaves to their impulses. They seek out quick rewards, instant satisfaction, the path of least resistance. But the path to greatness is paved with sacrifice. It's paved with the ability to resist the urge for immediate pleasure and instead focus on the long-term goal. You want to dominate your life. You want to achieve things that others only dream about. Then you need to master delayed gratification. 
You need to train your brain to endure discomfort now, for the sake of a greater reward later. This is the foundation of discipline, the core of success. But make no mistake, it's not easy. It's going to hurt. You're going to feel the pull of instant gratification, the temptation to take the easy way out. But every time you resist, every time you choose the harder path, you're building strength. You're building resilience. You're building discipline that will carry you through the darkest of times. Discipline is a system, not a feeling. Here's where people get it wrong. Discipline is not about feelings. It's not about motivation. It's not about waking up every day feeling excited to tackle your goals. Discipline is a system. It's a series of habits, routines, and behaviors that you build over time. It's not something that comes and goes with your mood. It's not something that happens when you feel like it. It's something you do because it's who you are. Motivation fades. Discipline doesn't. The men and women who dominate their fields, who crush their competition, who achieve greatness, they don't rely on motivation. They've built systems of discipline so strong that it doesn't matter how they feel. It doesn't matter if they're tired, stressed, or unmotivated. They get the job done because their system is in place. You want to be like them? Then stop chasing motivation. Stop waiting for the right moment or the perfect set of circumstances. Start building the system. Discipline isn't an emotion. It's a habit. It's something you create by repeatedly doing what needs to be done, regardless of how you feel. And here's the harsh truth. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. It takes sacrifice. And it takes relentless consistency. You see, discipline is about rituals. It's about creating routines that remove the need for constant decision-making. When you rely on motivation, you have to make a choice every day. Do I feel like doing this? But when you build a system, there is no choice. You don't wake up and decide whether you'll work out, focus on your goals, or stay on track. You just do it because it's part of who you are. Think about the most disciplined people you admire. They don't ask themselves if they'll hit the gym. They go. They don't question if they'll push through the hard days. They already know the answer. Their system is locked in place, and it carries them forward, even on the days when they don't feel like moving. That's what you need to build. A system so strong that it pulls you through every obstacle. Embrace the pain, the crucible of discipline. You need to understand one thing. Discipline is forged in discomfort. There is no easy path. There are no shortcuts. Every time you push yourself beyond what feels comfortable, you're not just moving closer to your goal. You're reshaping who you are. You're building a version of yourself that doesn't flinch in the face of adversity, that doesn't buckle under pressure, that welcomes the pain because it knows the pain is the price of greatness. The world will tell you to avoid discomfort. It will sell you convenience, ease, and instant results. But nothing worthwhile comes without pain. Every successful person you look up to has gone through hell to get where they are. They've endured more than you can imagine, and they've come out stronger because of it. You must learn to embrace the pain, not just tolerate it, but welcome it as a necessary part of your growth. Every time you feel the discomfort of pushing past your limits, understand that this is where transformation happens. This is where you evolve. Every day you choose to endure a little more than the day before, you're building a foundation of discipline that cannot be broken. Consistency over intensity. Another mistake people make is thinking that discipline is about going all in, pushing yourself to the edge every single day. They burn bright for a short time and then fizzle out. That's not discipline. That's intensity, and intensity is unsustainable. 
Discipline is about consistency. It's about showing up every day, even when you don't feel like it. It's about doing the work, not just when you're inspired, but when you're tired, bored, and uninspired. It's not about going 100 miles per hour for a week. It's about moving steadily forward, day after day, without stopping. The key to building unshakable discipline is pacing yourself. Set realistic goals. Break them down into daily actions that you can maintain over the long term. Don't try to transform everything overnight. Build one habit at a time, layer by layer, until discipline becomes your default mode. Delayed gratification, the real test of strength. Here's the ultimate test of discipline, delayed gratification. Can you resist the temptation of short-term pleasure for the promise of long-term success? Most people can't. They give in to their cravings, to their need for immediate reward, because waiting is too hard. But the few who master delayed gratification are the ones who reach heights others can only dream of. The ability to delay gratification is the ultimate display of strength. It's not just about avoiding distractions. It's about training your brain to understand that real success, real fulfillment, doesn't come from the easy wins. It comes from the grind, from the years of effort and sacrifice that eventually pay off. You want power over your life? You want to reach the pinnacle of your potential? Then you need to start training yourself to delay gratification. Set your sights on long-term goals and remind yourself every day that the reward is coming. It just won't come today. And that's okay, because you are in this for the long game. The power of reflection. Learn from every fall. Even with the best system, even with unshakable discipline, you will fall. You will make mistakes, you will slip up, and you will face setbacks. That's not failure. That's part of the process. But here's the difference between those who stay stuck and those who rise. How you respond to failure. When you fall, reflect. Don't beat yourself up. Analyze. Look at why you slipped, where you went wrong, and how you can improve. Failure is not the end. It's a feedback loop. Every mistake is a lesson if you're willing to learn from it. The disciplined mind doesn't shy away from failure. It embraces it, studies it, and grows from it. Every time you fall and get back up, you're not just recovering, you're coming back stronger. You're refining your system, sharpening your focus, and becoming more resilient. Final lesson, you are your only enemy. At the end of the day, there is no external force holding you back. There are no obstacles too great, no challenges too big, no competition that can stop you. The only enemy you have is yourself. The only thing standing between you and the life you want is your own mind, your own habits, your own choices. Discipline is about conquering that enemy within. It's about taking control of your thoughts, your actions, and your destiny. The world will throw distractions, temptations, and challenges your way. But none of that matters if you have control over yourself. If you can master your mind, if you can train your brain to serve you, there is nothing you cannot achieve. You will become the person who doesn't just survive life, but dominates it. Every obstacle will become an opportunity. Every failure will become a stepping stone to success and every day will be another chance to prove to yourself that you are in control of your destiny. So, the choice is yours. Will you remain a slave to your impulses, your weaknesses, and your distractions? Or will you take the dark path of discipline, the path that leads to true power, true control, and true success? There's no easy way forward. There's only the hard road, but once you embrace that, once you commit to the grind, nothing will be able to stop you. The time to start is now.
your destiny awaits.